Hello, this is Rama Screen at the Sailor Moon R premiere with... Sandy Fox, the voice of Chibi Yusa. All right, so how familiar were you with this material coming into the project? I wasn't at all, really. Um, I had learned about Sailor Moon through uh, being a guest at conventions and seeing the beautiful cosplay, yes. but I didn't grow up with the show. I'm a little bit older than when the series came out. But I've been enjoying uh, uh, the journey of Chibi Yusa through the script and just really taking the journey with her instead of pre-studying the material beforehand. I've been actually being very present with it as it's happening. So I, I like that though because it's from the fresh perspective. So yes. having that perspective, uh, so what have you, having done this project, what have you learned about Sailor Moon and why is it so timely? the story and the themes and so Well, I think it's beautiful that the Viz Media dub is leaving everything intact. Mm. So where the previous dubs were edited, maybe what was socially maybe not as acceptable at the time, but now is and is very relevant and um, it's very universal. So I love it um, that it, we're bringing people together and we're sharing that we're, you know, we're all kindness and, and camaraderie and compassion towards all beings, no matter what race, what color, what sexual preference, you know. We're all one people, and so, yeah, so. And it's also about badass girls, right? Badass girls, but fighting for the greater good, fighting for love and justice and what's right and good in the world. So, yeah, it, you know, you can't get much better than that. Wish we had more superheroes like that in the real world. But we do. So we live through these characters. I think they're an influence on so many people and they touch the hearts of millions of people around the world. That's what I love. It's so universal. So I like them too. All right, thank you so much, okay? Yeah. Enjoy. This is Rama Screen at the Sailor Moon R premiere with Stephanie Shea. Oh, good. How are you? Good, good, good. I'm a big fan. I grew up in Asia, so I knew this Sailor Moon uh, really well. Indonesia. Indonesia. I've never been to Indonesia. Oh, I I was born in the United States, but you know I spent some time in Taiwan and like you know. So you watched was Sailor Moon there? Yeah, Sailor Moon is very popular there. And was it in English or was it in a different language? It's dubbed in Indonesian. Oh, <laughs> does she sound similar? Now I want to hear it. A little bit, but my favorite is Sailor Mars. Sailor Mars, yeah, yeah. Then, you know, how does it feel to voice somebody so iconic as Sailor Moon? Um, you know, in the beginning, I was very, very scared. I was really terrified, especially because coming into it, I'm not the first person to do it. You know, there's so many other people who did it and, and it, and you know, to be honest, like I didn't make it popular. The other actors made it popular. You know what I mean? Cause they, that it was really big in the nineties. And so I was really scared and nervous, but once we started doing it and like conventions and like the fans were so supportive and so nice. And the old cast was also really supportive and nice like I like that went away really quickly so I'm really grateful but you've done a ton of voice work I love all your the, the, the gigs that you've done in the past so you're still nervous coming into this <laughs> yeah because there's a lot of pressure yeah, you know it's like I mean I mean it's like if someone's like okay your recast is Luke Skywalker you can be like I can't do like someone that's someone else's it's like a lot of pressure exactly I hear you so uh, last question before you enjoy the night what do you think is why do you think the story is timely this is the perfect time for it to hit theaters again why well, I think nice. It's awesome that like I think anime is a little bit more accepted, you know. Um, uh, also, it's a story about love, and right now with everything that's going on in the world, we just want to watch a movie where like love and love, not just like boyfriend girlfriend love, but love for everybody and love for your your fellow. I don't want to give away the ending, although it's not exactly a spoiler. The movie has been out for a number of years, but you know, love for somebody you're fighting against. Like, like, you know, that's what we kind of need right now. I know. Very timely. Well, thank you so much, okay? Thank Enjoy the night. So thank you.